So Black Ops 5 is coming in 2020. Just let that sink in for a moment. Black Ops 4 released in 2018. 2019, we still don't know what Call of Duty is going to come out. We're hoping and assuming it's Modern Warfare 4, but who knows? It could be Infinite Warfare 2 or even Ghost 2. But still, we still want to push for MW4 because, you know, that's the game we're all looking forward to, truthfully. The Call of Duty that was supposed to be released in 2020 was supposed to be from Sledgehammer Games. And so far, that's not working out. Apparently, they're having leadership issues and they're just having issues delivering a... Uh, a game so they put Treyarch in charge of 2020 which we would assume is Black Ops 5. In my opinion I'm pretty excited for that because sure Black Ops 4 hasn't been the best but the last three Black Ops series games have been incredible. Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3 they've been all consistent and awesome so let's talk about Black Ops 4 for a second. Is this the reason Black Ops 4 is lacking? Is Treyarch too focused on pushing the developers over on Black Ops 5 that they haven't really thought about Black Ops 4 and they don't have the time and effort to put it into the game that is currently out? That's a possibility you never know because usually it's a three year cycle and it looks like it's not going to be a three year cycle this time so you never know. That might be the reason Black Ops 4 has some crappy parts to the game. There's things Treyarch has to fix like the supply drop system. What is that? Come on, if you get a reactive camo, you could only get it for one weapon. The other weapons don't even, you can't even use those camos. Like the afterlife camo, you could only use it on one weapon that you unlock. All the other weapons, you have to unlock every single camo for every single weapon. That's crazy. That just makes supply drops even worse to open. Because you're never going to get what you actually want. The possibility of getting a Mark II is pretty much zero. And that sucks. You know, Black Ops 3 didn't have the best supply drops, but at least it was more balanced than this. But back to Black Ops 5, back to the Call of Duty releases. Activision confirmed that developers over at Raven and Sledgehammer Studios were no longer in charge of the release of Call of Duty 2020. That pushes it over to Treyarch to release Black Ops 5 or whatever they decide to produce, but it is going to be Treyarch's release. As we know, in Black Ops 4, we didn't get a campaign. They decided to go against it. They replaced it with a new Battle Royale game mode called Blackout, and people seem to love it. So the question is, will there be a campaign in Black Ops 5, or is there going to be another Battle Royale like Blackout? In my opinion, I think they're probably going to lean towards Blackout, because let's think about it. In campaign, you don't have opportunities for microtransactions and stuff, but in Blackout, you could add microtransactions, you could add a blackjack shop, you could do a lot with that, because it's another multiplayer based system it's a battle royale game so technically they would probably earn more money if they would just ditch campaign because in reality how many of us have actually played the campaign in any call of duty some of you have but most of you have not another topic we could cover is will the new call of duty of 2020 so black ops 5 be available on next gen consoles we're getting to that point where the ps5 and the xbox whatever they decide to call it it's about to release probably another year or two. It's probably going to be a real thing. It's a good chance that Black Ops 5 will also be on next gen. So it's a really interesting concept. Just like Call of Duty Ghosts, you know, it was on, it was crossplay. It was on both. Infinite Warfare, same thing. Advanced Warfare, I think, same thing. Yeah, Advanced Warfare and Ghosts were crossplay. So that's kind of ridiculous. It'll be about that time when next gen consoles release. So that's just crazy to wrap your head around that, you know, the. PS4's lifetime is probably, it's coming to a close. It's kind of sad, but you know what? You got to move on to better technology, I guess. Looking forward to that. But, I mean, we've covered a lot of things. We've covered Black Ops 5. We covered Black Ops 4 and all the dumb things that are happening in Black Ops 4. And the fact that Treyarch might be putting all their time and effort into Black Ops 5. You don't know. We don't know. We covered if there's going to be a campaign or blackout. My assumptions on that. And we covered next-gen consoles, so that's some information for you guys to think about. Tell me what you think about it in the comments down below, but that's going to do it for the video. If you guys made it all the way to the end, I do apologize for wasting your time, but if you did enjoy the video, go ahead and drop a like down below. Maybe even subscribe. Hopefully you guys have an awesome day, and I will definitely see you guys later.